Hello, welcome to our session on probability. Uh, really, here mostly we'll be taking up about the compound events. Uh, that means uh, an event wherein there will be collection of two or more possible outcomes. We'll be taking up few questions to understand how these questions are um, approached or solved. And you know, write down the first one. It says a coin is tossed 500 times with the following frequencies of two outcomes it says head 240 times and tail must be 260 times. Find the probability of occurrence of each of these events. It's given that the coin is tossed. Sorry, just a second. Yeah. It says, it says the coin is tossed 500 times. So the number of trials will be 500. There can be either head or tail. Let us now say if um, getting a head is represented, I'm representing getting a head. Getting a head is suppose denoted by A and getting a tail is I'm supposedly denoting by B. It is given that the number of trials in which the event A that is the head happens that is 240 and it's given uh, the tail happens is for 260. So, the probability of, I'll just write it down here. So, the probability of event A, that means getting uh, heads, will be 240 out of 500 times it is tossed. Mm, that's giving me 0 0.48. On the other hand, probability of getting the event B that is tossed is 260 by 500 is equal to 0 0.52. Now this, we need to see if PA plus PB is giving us 1 or not. Mm, yes, it is giving, yeah. So, therefore, A and B are the only two possible outcomes of this trial. Let me take another one, <coughs> another question. I write it down here. It says a die is thrown thousand times. with the following frequencies for the outcomes which are which can be one two three four five and there will be six as well as given below what is it that's given below like the number of out that is outcome Suppose 1 and the number of frequencies, the pre number of times that is the frequency of that outcome. When outcome is 1, the frequency is 179 times. The outcome 2 has the frequency of 150. Outcome 3 has 157 
outcome 4 is 149 outcome 5 is 175 and outcome 6 will be 190 the question asks about to find the probability of happening of each sorry each outcome it's pretty simple now as we have already done the first one i'll just take this space here to solve this portion we'll be taking this space now probability of getting one suppose so i how do we express suppose i'm writing probability of getting one is 179 out of 1000 so it will be 0 0.179 probability of getting a 2 is 150 by 1000 again it is 0 0.150 probability of getting a 3 will be 157 upon 1000 it is 0 0.157 on the other hand probability of getting a 4 on that die will be 149 upon 1000 so that gives us 0 0.149 similarly we can calculate for the outcome 5 so 175 by 1000 that is 0 0.175 and probability for getting 6 will be 190 by 1000 and that will give us 0 0.190 okay so these are the um, these kind of questions come under uh, the when there are more than uh, one or two outcomes we'll take few more in the next page again i take this time to write down the question here again there are thousand numbers of families with two children They were selected randomly and the following data were recorded. Number of boys in a family and number of families that means when you have i write down when you have zero number of boys in the family such family were 140 when you have one boy in the family there were 500 60 to such families and with two boys there were 300 such families now the question says if a family is chosen at random find the probability that it has no boy it has one boy and it has two boys also at least one boy and the last one at most one boy
Now the number of families having no boys, the first one, the number of families having no boys will be 140. So the probability for the first one will be 140 out of the 1000 families. So it will be 0 0.140, so 0 0.14. It has only one boy, so the, the number of families were 560, 560 upon 1000. So it is 0 0.56. Number 3 part says there's two boys, so this will be two boys with 300 out of, sorry, the animated 3000, so 300 out of 1000. So that's 0 0.3. Number 4 part question says it has at least one boy. Now this these families have at least one boy. Even these 300 families have at least one boy. So it becomes 560 plus 300. So 860 families have at least one boy. So it is 860 by 1000 that makes it 0 0.86 and at most one boy that means they have maximum of one boy. Now this, these are the families having at most one boy or even we will include this which is having no boys because that also falls into the category where they have at most one boy so the total becomes 145 by 1000 so that makes it 0 0.7 hope you followed this question thank you